the old and the new DTM champion on the front row of the grid. In qualifying for the ninth season round at Zandvoort, Mike Rockefeller and Marco Wittmann secure first and second place. In the hunt for times in the dunes, Rockefeller just comes out on top. In 2011, he scored the first race win of his DTM career here. This time, scoring the first victory of the season for Audi is the goal. Really happy. I mean, pole position in DTM is always special. Uh, it's so close, you know, a lot of guys can be in the front and we made it today. So uh, it's great for us, a great day, but uh, tomorrow is where what counts and uh, we just need to get that victory. However, the new champion surely has something to say against that. Marco Wittmann also showed his dominance at Zandvoort. Once again, the best placed BMW driver. Once again, the best chances to score his fifth race win of the season. This consistency is simply impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with uh, second place today. I mean, we, we struggled a little bit in free practice with some problems, um, could solve them. Um, but, but still, uh, even in, uh, in the qualifying section, it doesn't look so good. Um, I just made it in Q3 with P8, so very, very close. Behind the two champions, Audi is setting the pace. Four drivers in third to sixth place. Eduardo Mortara and Matthias Ekstrom back on track again after the hiccup at the Lausitz ring. The two candidates for the runner-up spot are on the second row on the Dutch North Sea coast. We will, uh, you know, we will see where we are in the championship, but this will be at the end of the of the Hockenheim race more. Uh, at the moment, I think it's important that we that we stay cool, that we don't put uh, on ourselves too much too much pressure, and uh, that we finally try to to achieve this first victory that we are all waiting for for a long time. Audi is making its mark in the battle for the manufacturer's title. Next to Wittmann, BMW can also hope for Martin Tomczyk. The 2011 DTM champion ends up eighth in qualifying. I'm quite happy, I have to say. Our plan was just to get into Q3. Uh, we managed it, but uh, we had to sacrifice all the new sets of tyres in the first two qualifying sessions. So I didn't have any new set for the Quali 3, and that's the reason why I made So that was for me clear that I uh, will not fighting for the pole today, but at least I managed it uh, to be at the last qualifying session. Not the best starting grid position, but another good one for Pascal Wehrlein. After pole position at the Lausitz ring, the 19-year-old also ends up as the best-placed Mercedes-Benz driver in seventh position at Zandvoort. I was P20 in the morning uh, in free practice and I was struggling with the car and we improved a lot so so that's good we we are a good team and uh, we know what we have to do and um, yeah, so P7, I think, is a, is a big improvement. Mercedes-Benz is presenting a new guise. For the first time, Christian Vitoris is driving a modified AMG C Coupe. Initially, though, the revised aerodynamics package doesn't yield much at Zandvoort. Only 18th place on the grid for the runner-up in the driver's standings. It's not as easy as, um, as you maybe would expect. Um, it's a lot of work and we are, we are fighting. The qualifying result from Zandvoort at a glance. Marco Wittmann interrupts the Audi Armada. Jamie Green and Nico Muller in 5th and 6th place on the grid. For the first time this season, Martin Tomczyk makes it into Q3 and will start from 8th place into the race. Timo Scheider is far away from his 5th Zandvoort pole position at the track he considers as his favourite circuit. Only 16th place on the grid for the two times DTM champion. Last year's winner, Augusto Farfus, and three Mercedes-Benz drivers were on the last two rows of the grid. After their good results at Lausitz Ring, the upward trend for Daniel Junkadella, Robert Wickens and Vitaly Petrov has come to an end for the moment. The battle in the dunes at Zandvoort is on. The battle of the old and the new champion provides plenty of action, and the hunt for points in the manufacturer's standings enters its decisive stage.